In our last episode, we had some wicked sailing and we captured some stunning drone footage from some of the more northern Whitsunday anchorages that we hadn't yet been to. Both Darren and I really enjoy hanging out in nature. We find it revives us. The bright colours of flowers and the green of rainforest are fulfilling and uplifting and the sounds of waves lapping on shore and the rustling leaves seem to soothe the soul. So after a few days of boat jobs, today was the perfect day to just chill and play. There would be a whole waterfall up there. Oh, I'd imagine there would be. Yeah. <laughs> you can see where it runs down behind here. It was probably run on the other day when we were here, but... Um, we didn't see it. Woman in the wild. Ah, look what I've found. A little mermaid on the beach. Oh, Jesus, how lucky am I? We had a pretty cool time swimming and hanging around this beautiful reef that we'd anchored behind. It was really protected and it was fun listening to the shouts of joy from the tour boat guests when they were snorkeling close by. So after a few days we took off to find another place to hang. And sometimes the pleasure in sailing is not about speed. The trick can be to keep the boat moving in fickle winds and this was one of those days. Playing games with us. <laughs> the wind's everywhere. That's quite funny. 
we were moving pretty slowly with the odd gust helping us along. So today was one of those days when we had to really work the sails to keep Sarian moving. The wind is playing fickle with us. Fickle? Fickle. Really rolling that night on the other side of Unsafe. Will that be the same again? I don't know. Might be worth a look at. South Mole, one of the two. Sort of pointing up at it. Yeah. I don't think I've ever gone into South Mole like. I can crack it off if this goes straight over there. We're heading there. As long as we don't go home. <laughs> well, where do you want to go? Go wherever you want to go. Oh, I'll Apart from home. <laughs> uh, over here's good. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? I think they might have done a roundup. We're on target, on target. Lovely, my honey. Perfect. Hey, Aaron. Loving it. Seven and a half knots. Yeah. Woohoo! High five, my honey. Well, as you can see, it's a lovely sail. We are heading back from Stonehaven. We were going to go to uh, either Nara or, sorry, Marcona or Sid, but we're getting such a good angle at the moment. We're going to go to South Mole and possibly through Unsafe Passage. But yeah, we've got about 20, 20 knots of breeze. The sails are set beautifully and it's a gorgeous day. So I'll just show you where we are. We're doing about seven and a half knots. 7.3 knots of speed. <laughs> Loving it. Sorry, honey.
was going to be a bit rolly in there when the easterly came round and thought the swell white come rolling in the bay make it a bit uncomfortable for the night. So we've come around the other side and uh, I'll show you we're looking for a nice little bit, bit of beach along South Mole. So I'll just show you where we are. Yeah, so here we are anchored in this beautiful bay. I haven't got a clue what it's called. There's a heap of fish jumping around and lots of cockatoos up in the bushes there. But just over here it's quite windy and rustic. And something that's really neat as we got here about half an hour ago and the tide's coming in and where you can see that sandbank there and the other piece of land on the left hand side of the screen well that was all joined by one big sandbank when we arrived and you just see the last vestiges of it and the tide's coming in and covering it over completely so you wouldn't want to sail through there mistakenly but from a distance Looks like it might be a gap that you could get through, so yeah, we're looking through to the top end of South Mole. So we've been here at South Bowl for a few days, it's been lovely and uh, we're just going to go for a quick dip in the water and Darren's going to test out his new spear gun. She's having a surf. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> be 
Mega. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Can he load her? Can he load her? <laughs> well, the guy at the shop did tell me that the first time on a spear gun it's really hard to load. So we'll go with the double bands in about six months when we've had a lot of practice, I reckon. <laughs> oh, so close. Only half a metre to go. <laughs> Interesting. Don't give up now, my honey. Well, how many times do you think I can pull this back? So if anyone's got any handy tips out there on how to load up a spear gun, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> I'll just get stronger. Good on you, babe. Exercise. <laughs> Good morning. Hi everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, we really do. A special thanks we wanted to say to the musicians whose video uh, music we've used in the video. Uh, that's uh, Seafoam Sweater Girl and Alon Barak. He is the guy who plays the magnificent guitar tracks. So yeah, check them out. I put the links below uh, for their SoundCloud. Yeah, so uh, please feel free to share our videos with your friends. And we've been getting some fantastic feedback from people that you've been really enjoying what we've been putting out there. So great to hear from you. Um, please ask us more questions in the comments box below because uh, it's great to hear what it is you're interested in learning about. We're going to put the answers to those questions in upcoming videos. So yeah, please keep commenting and get in touch with us. And also uh, follow along on our Facebook page. We put lots of update, more updated information on that page about what we're up to on a daily basis. So yeah. Okay. Wishing you a great week. Please subscribe to follow on and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for taking along. <laughs>